Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jazz Punk. Uh, last time, we annihilated the editor in every single uh, game he put us to, but also got our ass whooped by the randos who did kind of stand around here. However, his egometer is afflating. You know my one weakness is accolades. I do know your one weakness, and it is, in fact, accolades. Oh, it's the glass cutter and the little pane of glass from here. <laughs> Miss Japanada. <laughs> yeah, recall that these are the United Prefectures of Japanada because we're the Unition, United... Canada, United States of America. That was then combined by... Or taken over by... Um, Dog, you really just threw a dart in your friend's dick there. <laughs> Modesty prevents me from, well, just this once. <laughs> Nothing like literally getting a swelled. Oh, man. World Heavyweight Championship. Don't step in the blood. <laughs> How wonderful is I that? I feel like an absolute god. Right. Quick little sip first. Oh my god, that's lewd. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got a little crotch bulge. So that's, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, they told me to press Q to cycle my inventory, but I don't think I have anything. I mean, oh no, poly blank, no. Oh, it's got eyes in it. Yeah, that's People are delicious. Um, nothing. Oh, she knows what she's drinking. Okay. <laughs> Olympic medal. Gold medal, in fact. Oh, I don't deserve such an accolade. Is that a sewing needle? There we go. <laughs> Save the director. Save the director. Save the director. Save that director. Let's talk about the director being the good guy. Ah, flying toasters. Just like that thing. The director's the good guy, and, um... The director save. Director's a good guy, and, um... The editor's a bad guy. Like, hmm... Big wooden spoon. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> cool. Thanks. So stupid. Still can't walk on that. Well, that's okay. Narrow decks. That's supposed to be full of blood. Because, um... Hmm. Oh, there's all the balls in the holes. That's kind of fun. <laughs> a little soccer goal. Right. Let's just see if there's anything else I can screw with around here. Don't think so. I think I've hit up everything... 
Again, one really wonders what the hell a speedrun of jazz punk looks like, and why anyone would bother. Interesting. Oh my gosh! I'm all dizzy. Space time control. Does this work on anyone? I'm hungry. What's for breakfast? Oh yeah, I think I screwed up. Oh my god, they dug a little grave. R.I.P. Oh, it's Fruit Ninja. Also, this is another example of... I've talked about this in the past, but... When one makes a game, you make assets. Assets are the things that go in the game. Assets are just, you know, things like a barrel. So if there's only one barrel in the game, then you made that barrel kind of for nothing. Because... Only one person is ever going to see that barrel, you know? Or uh, if you make a secret ending, you put work into things that not everyone will see, you know? And so some people are like, well, what's the point? Why invest the money and time into making something that someone won't see, you know? Sorry, I'm focusing in hardcore. But Jazz Punk is a game built on that, which is part of why it's so short. Because the whole game was... Oh man, you can't miss a single one, huh? Because if the whole game played more traditionally, then it would be a lot longer, and I can guarantee that. Because it is hard to put stuff together like that, to like this. Something so unique and specific to itself. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Oh, it's, it's consistent. Anyway, they made this katana model and they used it for one joke. And then, like, two hours of game later, they put it for this, like, Fruit Ninja reference. Which I guess is fair. All right. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, hey, these are... degree burns all over my entire face <laughs> you know it is possible for uh you to get fourth degree burns i think it goes up to fifth in fact it's just that third is usually the um easiest way also i think they've done this bit more than they've done a normal hand i was gonna say The fact that they set up a little grave is so stupid. All right. Free the director or crocification. Sorry, old Sam, but a croc's got to do what a croc's got to do. I mean, you might as well crawl in my mouth now because it's only going to end one way. So if you hit this other thing, <laughs> the little sign falls off and it just says... That's weird. A little sign falls off and it just uh, says also crocification or something. I have no idea what this organ's supposed to be. Of course, this is one of those like stomachs that contains a rib cage. Luis Hernandez and Jess Browse. This is the end, by the way. Our direction and production by Luis again. 
Just browse to the programming. Two-person development team. Assistant Christmas card smuggler, Kemp Dockwood. Is that a real person? Splenda Barbituate. Wait, she was the prosthetics wrangler. Tarantula waxing by Jetson Larfrican. I don't know why there's this jungle. Stunts by unpaid interns. And also why you need to machete your way through a jungle. Aren't we supposed to be inside of a crocodile? Motion capture by Octopuses Anonymous. That's a sphincter. Endoscopy by the player. Vampire basketball coach, Samuel Horsebrush. Teledildonics by Sandra Bollock. I wonder what Teledildonics means. Jazz Punk was filmed in front of live Studio Cobra. Powered by the Indifference Engine or whatever. Copyright this year. Necrophone Games Corp. All rights reserved. So this is another thing that kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth about this game. Not to put too fine of a point on it, but I feel as though this game didn't really end. I think it just stopped, you know? Like, you go through four wacky things, and then a less wacky thing, and then kind of a scary part, and then back to wacky, and then it's over. But... Morning, Ray. My sincerest apologies. I've left this tech recording here in the event that I ever get transmogrified into a man-reptile hybrid and you need to escape the labyrinth that is my digestive system. I've provided some specially encoded missionol for just such an occasion. Don't take too many. Oh, and uh, just a warning. I have a particularly violent immune system. Best of luck. Also, please say hi to my secretary if I eat her for pudding. For pudding. Yep, same old same. Simulation ends. So yeah, they even set you up to be like... Lewis did the music. Phil Bailiou, Troy Morsi, and Dan Rodriguez. The Muffin Man did the cinematography. Cinnamon, like cinnamon. Jess Browse did the animation. Lewis did the sound design. Catering by Gary Skunk and Tackle. Willem Scream by Willem Dafoe. Pantomimers Anonymous. Camera Operator the Player. Voice characterizations by Lewis. Additional voices by Jim Sterling. Snake Wranglers. Matt Payne by Matthew Painter. Aaron Wood. Emil Arnaud. Will Carcass, Virginia. Filmed in Banana Vision. Zero marriages consummated. No DVD rentals returned. I destroyed all of the antiques. Willis would like to thank his friends and family for putting up with this crap through the development. Jess would also like to thank his friends and family for their support. Mm hmm. Mr. No. Jess Punk is a work of fiction. All names, incidents, and characters portrayed in the production are fictitious. No identification to actual persons living or dead. Buildings, video games, movies, uh, books, television shows should be inferred. So, yeah, that's the thing about Jazz Punk. Um, it just kind of stops. Like, Soviet Consulate is great. Koi Pond is... I don't know if Koi Pond is anything. I'm going to go back here. There's the pigeon I smuggled. Yeah, it's just the breadcrumbs. Ikiyaki Alley, the temple, expedition, high tech, night resort, wet works, bachelor pad, intestinal credits. And then, yeah, and then it just stops. Wedding Cake, new unlocks. Welcome to Wedding Cake. We play at the bachelor pad. Select right? matrimony. I'll be sure to tell him. We have the secretary. I've got metrics. Please help yourself. We have the butler. Let me tell you something. We have that Let guy. Let me tell you something. Oh, I love me some soup. The new director. I'll be sure to tell him. Fight. Oh, I love how they've clearly just, like, chained this up. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
I'll give him the chair though. And again, this is a very clever way of, of reusing these assets and putting a silly mode in the game. I love how they put the planks on top so you could walk here. Jesus. Man, I want to get the lightning hand. That sounds fun. The fact that it even says your ping might be the funniest part of the whole thing to me. Oh god. Can I die here? You can. It presents a couple of interesting ideas, and it also is just like a silly, fun, good, fun having game. You know, There's this old saying, it goes, real champagne for my real friends and real pain for my sham friends. I think about that sometimes. I will also say, there is a DLC for this game. However, I hate buying DLC. In this case, I might make an exception, though. But who knows? Maybe I won't. Considering I actually did not make it to... I did not make it to September 17th like I had planned. Uh, I did not make it to September 17th. Welcome Who knows? To wedding cake. Um, but yeah, that's Jazz Punk. I also feel like I might want to buy the DLC because the game, again, does not really end. It just stops. But I kind of really hate that. Like, I fucking despise that, in fact. And I don't think that games that have bad endings but then make a DLC and they're like, no, no, just buy the DLC. Like... That's a bad habit. I don't like that. To me, like, I don't even like buying, like, for example, the Dark Souls DLCs. Um, or, like, Elder Scrolls DLCs. But those are still my ideal type of DLC. Um, and granted, I enjoy just buying, like, Game of the Year editions, and, like, it just has them. But being able to demarcate certain things as DLC and be like, okay, do that later is a nice thing. But like, mm, you know, very few games am I happy about buying DLC for it. I am a strong uh, contender of you should just have a full game that's just out and ready. And what's more, um, putting the ending in a, in a DLC is not good. I actually don't know what the DLC for Jazz Punk is, though. Um, but if the DLC comes out, you'll see it. And if not, you won't. But um, if you enjoyed this, please uh, watch my playthrough of Hylix. Or Helix. It's also very, very strange and very indie. Uh, made by a guy, I think. Um... I have a very excellent playthrough of Morrowind that a lot of people liked, and I played through the original Castlevania, and currently I'm playing through Blasphemous, another indie game that's like a Dark Souls. Um, but yeah, I've been Alfred. That's short for Elfriedrich. I hope you've all enjoyed Jazz Punk. Um, have a good day. See ya.